everyone welcome back to my channel today we've got a massive doll makeover video for you all featuring all these beautiful dolls that i got from one of my recent hauls if you haven't seen that video check it out i'll leave a link below to my haul playlist and this includes 13 dolls so how amazing is that now they're all these beautiful 90s style dolls and even this one with the bendy waist who's really cute one of the original posing dolls and we've got some vintage dolls, like I think from the 70s or 80s, I think this girl might be, I'm not sure. But we've got a huge array of different dolls. As you can see, these ones have got the old style body and they're still in really good condition as well. So we're going to give all these dolls a wash in detergent, more mortar. Then we're going to actually brush all their hair and get them all in good nick and dressed in some nice fresh outfits. So this is an op shop score, this girl with long blonde hair and pink streaks. I think she's quite cute. She's got hollow legs, so she might be a bit more recent. All these other dolls have bend and snap legs. So I really like this doll. She's very fair, but she's really pretty. And this is a doll my sister gave me for Christmas from an op shop as well. I think her hat is like the coolest thing. <laughs> I'll probably actually honestly sell the doll because I have so many of her. But this is like the coolest doll I got out of this score recently. She's actually a Sleeping Beauty doll I discovered. So her eyes close. How cool is that with the switch at the back? And so I got her in this massive box of stuff. It was like $30 and I got all these vintage play sets, Barbie dolls, like Pretty much 10 or 11 of these dolls are from that haul. Um, this is probably my favorite doll. She's so beautiful. Look at her. I just love her hair. I love her face and her makeup and her skin tone. She's just really beautiful. So it's good to give them a scrub with a toothbrush. I find it really helps get the grime out of their little crevices and things. This is probably the best vintage doll I got. If you know who she is, let me know in the comments below, please. Here's another vintage one another one she's quite pretty that doll so i really do like her actually okay they've all had a rinse it's time to get the softener out and i'm just going to give them all a good soak in this beautiful warm water and let their hair sort of soak in all that softener and hopefully get in a bit better quality so this will take a while <laughs> so i did actually film all of this i'm just going to basically do this in batches brush out their hair, set it how I want, and then leave them overnight to dry. All of them were actually in fairly decent condition to begin with, so it wasn't too bad of a job because I think the girl that had these dolls before really looked after them. As you can see, the Sleeping Beauty doll still had her original waves in her hair, so I'm really just going to be retwisting her ringlets before I let her dry overnight. And yes, very, very much later after brushing... <laughs> five dolls hair i've got five dolls sitting ready to dry overnight i've got more in the tub and a few more to go <laughs> um it's a very big job i think this probably took me two hours three hours in total but here they all are lovely and lined up ready to rest overnight and it's the next day they're all dry all gorgeous clean beautiful soft hair and ready to be styled so i'm just trimming off their dead ends and i did this to every doll I didn't film all of that for you guys. I've spared you the details, but that's essentially what I did to every doll. And now it's a fun part where we're going to dress them all in their awesome vintage clothes. I also got these vintage clothes. All the clothes you see in this video are the ones that I scored in my recent haul. So yeah, do check out that video because it was just amazing what I scored. Like seriously, I couldn't believe it. I was so glad I went and picked up that $30 box of Barbie as it was called so yeah her ringlets worked out really good i just twisted them up and left them overnight um, with elastics in there and she basically looks good as new she's still got her tiara attached to her head and her original dress so here she is she's going to do a spin for you and isn't she just stunning i love this doll i love that her eyes open and close and she's just got this really beautiful face and she's just a really good quality doll. Um, I think she probably was a premium doll when she was first bought. And I think she's like a 19, I don't, I don't know, someone's gonna have to help me with that, but I think she's about a 98, maybe a 99 doll, or early, early 2000s. 
Next is these awesome Barbies with like a bendy waist. So this is one of the original bendy waist dolls. Um, so it's actually made of like a rubber material, her belly. And so you can pose her. Um, she's really cool. And basically I gave these dolls, some of these dolls, some new hairstyles just to give them a bit more of a different look. And I dressed her in this beautiful long gown. Look at it. Isn't it stunning? I just really love it. I think it's got really beautiful patterns. And I gave her some white heels. As this video goes on and I get Barbie fatigue from dressing so many dolls, you will see that some of them may not have shoes, but this is the other outfit that I love. Look at it, this yellow Chinese inspired dress. And I just paired that with some black boots. It's, I love this dress. This is probably one of my favorite dresses and I can't wait to take more photos of my dolls in it. Here is a doll my sister gave me. She came out really good and I managed to get off all of the stains on her legs, um, which were, she had permanent marker on her legs. So I just used some nail polish remover to do that. Unfortunately, her toes are pointing outwards and I'm not sure if I can correct that. It probably can, but I'm probably just going to sell her on eBay. Next is probably one of my favorite final looks. Um, this is also one of those bendy waist dolls and I put her hair up in two little pigtails at the front. Next in this 80s style outfit is that really pretty Barbie. Um, she's actually got ballerina feet so she must be some kind of ballerina. This brunette doll is probably one of my favorites. We've got another 80s inspired outfit here on one of the vintage dolls of course. Unfortunately she's in a bit of disrepair. She's losing a thumb and her neck's quite wobbly so I'm probably gonna sell this doll as well because I don't really need her but whoops look at that <laughs> she's really really floppy so she's an old doll what can you do um here is this pretty pretty fair Barbie and she's got a beautiful red dress on next is a superstar doll she's probably the best doll from this set and she even came with this original classic outfit which is beautiful I really love this outfit as well and this doll. I think she's got really classic stylish makeup on and I really like this outfit. It's just so cute, the jacket and the shorts. There was just so many things to experiment with in this video because I had so many new clothes to try on. And look at this awesome old 1950s dress. Isn't it beautiful? I'm really sad that, you know, it's really damaged. So I had to put another top on the over it just because I wanted to see how it looked but it is really stained. Next is this beautiful gold jumpsuit. I think this is an original Barbie outfit but it doesn't have the tags and all the elastic is gone. Maybe some kind of like gold style Barbie. Anyway I also dress her in this stunning yellow jumpsuit. And here's all the dolls in their vintage clothes with all their hair did. Aren't they beautiful? I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you for watching my videos and supporting my channel. You guys are literally the best. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.